minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up. Electronics Beginning. get the pads, over. safety ground systems. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And lift off of Electron from Launch Complex 2, leaving US soil for the first time and on its way to space up and over the Atlantic Ocean. All nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage now propelling the rocket um, at more than 700 kilometers an hour. We are hearing good calls from the teams in Virginia and Rocket Lab Mission Control. A clean ascent for Electron now nearly a minute into flight. You are looking at 56,000 pounds of maximum thrust from those stage one engines, but soon they'll be throttling down to support that HP pass with a maximum number. aerodynamic pressure point. Cleared max Q. There is the call out. Electron has cleared that first milestone and is continuing nominally. The nine Rutherford engines on the first stage, stage are throttling back up only and all nominal. looks nominal for propulsion there. We are now at one minute and 32 seconds into flight with Electron moving at speeds of more than or nearly more than 3,000 kilometers an hour now. The next major milestone will be those Rutherford engines on the first stage shutting off completely, expected to occur at around T minutes 26 seconds into flight. That will happen just before separation of the first and second stages, which then allows the Rutherford engine on the second stage to fire up and continue with the mission to low Earth orbit. The events are called out for mission control as MECO, stage separation, and stage two engine ignition. Meanwhile, those nine Rutherford engines are continuing to, to propel Electron at more than 6,000 kilometers per hour, two minutes and 10 seconds into flight of Virginia is for launch lovers. Nico, confirm. Stage separation successful. Stage to ignition. Excellent news there from our launch operators. Electron has had a successful MECO stage separation and stage two ignition. The next stage milestone will be separation of the rocket's fairing. We do this to lose unnecessary weight once Electron is through the Earth's atmosphere. Fairing jettison succeeded. And as we saw from Electron's onboard camera and heard from Mission Control, the rocket's fairing has successfully separated and fallen away, exposing the Hawkeye 360 satellites to space on their way to low Earth orbit. Our first launch from U.S. soil is going great so far. Guidance is nominal. Stage two propulsion, holding nominal. Coming up on four minutes into flight of Virginia HPV is for launch lovers, our 33rd electron mission. The rocket second stage is now reaching speeds of more than 9,000 kilometers an hour, powered solely by a single space optimized Rutherford engine. The second stage will take the payload to the height of the mission's orbital altitude before it separates with the kick stage, which will carry on to insert the mission into a circular orbit. Before that, we'll have a few more mission milestones to complete, including a swap of the batteries for the second stage engine, engine shutdown, and then final stage separation. Those events are coming up at around the six and nine minute marks into launch.
checking in on the clock, and we are just about T plus five minutes into the mission. Hearing nominal calls here from our launch operators in Mission Control in Virginia and Auckland.